Well, good morning, everyone. Today I'm taking the metro up to Capitol Hill so I can take some photos of my helmet right here. I brought my, one of my helmets along, one of my masterpieces. And I thought I'd go up to Capitol Hill to take some photos, you know, some nice photos, rather than just taking them at home or somewhere like that. I thought I'd take them up to Capitol Hill for some artistic photos, okay? Let's go. Okay, here comes the train. See that? Unfortunately, that's not my train. That's a train going the other way. I'm going this way. Woo, look at that. That must be a 16-car train. Welcome to Judiciary Square. This is only the second time I've uh, ridden Metro since the lockdown. You remember the first time I went to Nats Park. This time I'm going up to the hill. As you can see, everything is pretty quiet around here. Not too many people riding the Metro. Yeah, it has been like this for many, many months now. But uh, sometimes I want to ride the Metro to get where I'm going, like the hill, Capitol Hill which is where I'm going now. So let's get up there now. All right, I'm up on the hill. The whole area is closed except for the uh, outside. So you can't go into the, uh, as you can see, you can't go into the general area of the, of the Capitol Hill, of, of the dome. I'm trying to find a nice uh, angle to take photos of my helmet. Because so far, all the angles I've seen are pretty, pretty bad because all the angles kind of suck. How about right over here? Let's try this angle over here. See? See the see the Capitol Dome up there? See? See the Capitol Dome up there? I'm trying to find a nice angle to uh, to take a photo of my helmet. So I'll see. I'll see what kind of angle we got here. As you can see, this whole area is closed. You used to be able to go in there and just kind of run around the grass and frolic and have fun and not anymore. This is a different world we live in today. And there's the Capitol Dome, as you can see. Capitol Dome. It looks like it's made out of marble. It's not really marble. It's made out of, uh, it's made out of iron and it's painted to look like marble. Nah, this side doesn't work at all. The sun is too bright and I forgot to bring any kind of uh, any kind of reflecting material to reflect the light off. Plus we got these the, plus we got this fence kind of ruining the shot there with the area close sign. Let me try over here on the side to see if there's any kind of angle that we can use to because uh, the sun is coming in from the uh, the sun is coming in uh, from the uh, where are we? Uh, it's really pretty much high up in the air right now. So the sun is kind of all wrong. I should have been here like early this morning or maybe later on this afternoon. Right? Right. Anyway, let's go over to the, uh, to the uh, south side here. Let's see if we can find a nice angle for the dangle. At least you can see the, uh, the uh, Washington Monument up there. See that? That's the Washington Monument. Maybe I can take a picture over there. Let me see. That's my helmet, see? That's my helmet up here on the hill. As you can see, I did a beautiful, beautiful job on it. Yep, but I was waiting for the right opportunity to take a photo of it. And I didn't want to just take a photo just anywhere. So I thought I'd go up to the hill. As you can see, look at that angle. Isn't that a cool angle right there? Yeah. You can see the helmet. You can see the Capitol Dome. You can see the back of the helmet with the, uh, with the uh, police support flag on it and the warning. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's so cool. Look at that. Look at that shot. Isn't that a beautiful shot? That's a beautiful shot. There's the Capitol Dome, everybody. You can see there isn't too many people over here because the grounds are closed, as you can see. The whole area is closed. And there aren't too many people here. Usually, at this time, there'd be a lot of people here. Tourists and workers and people like that. But not today. Not today. All right, we're walking. We're walking around the Capitol Hill here. As you can see, there's the Capitol Dome. 
and uh, just walking around the circle here this is uh, James A. Garfield he was one of the US presidents who was assassinated unfortunately he was only president for a few months before he was assassinated but they have the statue to him here on the hill okay now as you can see we are on the uh, we are on the east side of the hill with better lighting up here as you can see see the Capitol Dome up there with better lighting up here so maybe we could take some photos up here here on the east side of Capitol Hill see over here by the uh, by the Supreme Court see that's the Supreme Court see that building with all the columns that's the Supreme Court this is the Library of Congress just across the street from from the Capitol building yeah but there really is no need for a Library of Congress anymore because people can just Google it from the safety and the comfort of their own offices see the Library of Congress was built when when there was no Google there was no internet and some people who worked at the Congress at the uh, Capitol building over here they want if they wanted to research something they would have to go to a library and so they built this library pretty close to uh, Capitol Hill there it is again ladies and gentlemen my masterpiece my uh, Washington Redskins Eclipse helmet custom Eclipse helmet here on Capitol Hill as you can see there's the Capitol building and here is my helmet my masterpiece uh, I think I'm going to keep it for a while before I sell it I don't think I'm gonna sell it even though it is a beautiful helmet and will probably sell immediately I want to keep it on display in my in my uh, in my house for a while until such time as I grow weary of it which will probably will never be there's a Supreme Court as you can see in the background that is the United States Supreme Court over there recently we just had a brand new judge uh, join the Supreme Court uh, Amy Coney Barrett a good woman who is now one of the justices in on the Supreme Court and this is my helmet with the Supreme Court in the background all right I guess that's it for my little uh, photo shoot here on the hill now I'm going back to either uh, Union Station or Judiciary Square where, I, where do I want to go Union Station is over here to the right and Union Square is I mean Judiciary Square is down down straight ahead anyway here's the hill one last shot one last shot of the Capitol Dome before I go back it's getting real warm I'm sweating actually you know I can see Union Station from here let's just go to Union Station okay I'll just go to Union Station all right we are approaching uh, Union Station everybody funny thing is from the hill you look you look down on the street and you see Union Station right there you don't think it's uh, you don't think it's that far but then when you start to walk you realize it's uh, it's quite a walk it's almost like a mile it's just that Union Station is just so big and just looming over there and you think it's just a quick walk but it's not it's about six uh, I would say six or seven tenth of a mile from Capitol Hill to Union Station but we're almost there I'm not going into Union Station I'm just going to take the Metro there's the Metro entrance on the side yeah we're just walking away from Capitol Hill Capitol Hill's back there I left it and I'm going back to Union Station so I can take the Metro let's do it so here's Union Station everybody as you can see there is not too much activity going on around here at Union Station because uh, not too many people are traveling today tomorrow the past several months not too many people are traveling I'm not going inside Union Station today because I'm already late and I'm going straight to the Metro which is right on the side of Union Station 
that building to the left of Union Station is the United States National Postal Museum. It is a museum dedicated to, uh, to the postal workers and the U.S. Postal Service and that's what it is. I've been there one time. It's a very, very interesting and unique museum. One of the museums that's actually overlooked by tourists. They don't know it's here, but it's a very interesting and wonderful museum. I suggest you check it out next time you're here in Washington, D.C. All right, we're gonna take the metro now because I've been away for far too long and and I'm hungry and I want to have lunch somewhere. This is the metro station here at the Union Station. And I need to get my card out so I can get into the system. Alright, we are back at Farragut North. Where we started from. Alright, from here there are three possible exits to the street. And I want to go out in the one station that's closest to, uh, closest to where I'm going to have lunch, which is down on uh, K Street. See, up above us is probably L Street right now, so if we exit over at the very far end, we should exit out at K Street where I want to, well not K Street, uh, Connecticut and L. people than there was this morning when I got here. Alright, this is now the quiet part of Farragut North Station. You want to exit at L Street so I can get up straight to where I want to go, which is the place where I have lunch sometimes, here on L Street. Take the escalator up to L Street, which is where we started in the first place. It's not, look at this escalator, it's a pretty, it's an itty bitty escalator. It's a little tiny escalator. Look at that. Little teeny tiny escalator. Alrighty. We're up on the top here. Get my metro card. Metro card. And we're gonna go upstairs to where we need to go. Okay. To where we started from. This one escalator is a little bit taller than the last one, but still not that tall compared to other escalators on other metro stations. Alright, now we are going up to the street and we are going to cross the street and have some lunch because I am hungry. How hungry are you? I am so hungry. I could eat a horse right now. Not a big horse, just maybe a maybe a pony or a little donkey. Not that big. Alrighty. Let's go uh let's go across the street. As soon as it's clear, we are going to cross the street so we can get to the place where I have lunch. Somewhere down here. Well, of course, sometimes I want some spaghetti. This is where I get some spaghetti sometimes. They got good spaghetti, but it's a little expensive. So, uh, we can cross the street right here. Alright, so I'm back, uh, 
I'm back where I started from. Down here in downtown. I went up to the hill to take photos of my helmet. And I think it was successful. I took dozens of photos and and I think they look pretty good. I'm going to upload it into my Facebook and maybe submit it to Green Gridiron for their approval. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, right now I'm going to have some lunch because I'm tired and I'm hungry and I want to eat something, okay? Let's go eat something. 